हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर के सी टी एग्जाम्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आज फ्रॉम थ्री डी जोमेट्री सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो देर इज अ वेरी हाई चांस दैट अ सिमिलर क्वेश्चन कैन अपियर इन द टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एज वेल सो यू कैन चेक माई अदर वीडियोज एज वेल वेर वी हैव डिस्कस द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वैक्टर्स differential equation integrals and definite integrals they are also very important chapters uh, videos which you can refer uh, so that that can help you in your kct 2024 exam so the format of the video is very clear uh, is same as the other videos first we will be going through the concept part okay next we will be looking at the questions okay so let's start today's video okay yeah so first we'll do a quick concept recap so say direction ratios of a line passing through two points say you have two points one point is p1 and another point is p2 so x1 y1 z1 is p1 and x2 y2 z2 is your p2 then direction ratios of p1 p2 p1 p2 are given by x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 so this should be uh, clear to you okay next the distance formula when you know the two points distance between them in 3d is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square this is very pretty simple formula i think everyone knows this next moving on then there is one more property that we are going to use that is dot product of perpendicular vectors is equal to 0 so if you have two vectors say vector a and vector b then as you all know a dot b is equal to so these are the concepts that we will be applying okay let's look at the question types of question so there are two types of question the method is almost similar the first question is finding perpendicular distance from a point on a line okay so say you have a line this is a line this is a point p okay so point p is given to you say x1 y1 z1 and the equation of line is given to you x minus uh x2 by a y minus y2 by b and z minus z3 by c this is the equation of line they are asking you to find this particular distance let me call this okay this is a perpendicular distance they are asking us to find this t so given a point p what is the perpendicular distance from that point to the line this is one type of question another is finding image of a point about a line so you have this line this is our point p the image of this point about this line will be somewhere here say r so we need to find the coordinates of r coordinates of r is what we need to find so the concept is almost similar okay so let's now look at the questions okay the first question as you can see the distance of the point minus 2 comma 4 comma minus 5 from the line x plus 3 by 3 equal to y minus 4 by 5 equal to z plus 8 by 6 let's look at the question answer solution okay the first point is let me zoom in a bit okay the first thing is point is given to us let me change my pen take a red pen okay so the coordinates of point p are minus 2 4 and minus 5 okay so this is our point p and equation of line is given to us that is x plus 3 by 3 y minus 4 by 5 and z plus 8 by 6 take that as equal to lambda now x plus 3 divided by so you have x plus 3 divided by 3 is equal to lambda so x will be equal to 3 lambda minus 3 that is what i have given written here so coordinates of point l l is a point that is on the line right so coordinates of point l are 3 lambda minus 3 5 lambda Plus four and six lambda minus eight. Similarly, if you do it for y minus four by five equal to lambda, you will get five lambda plus four six lambda minus eight. So now we have found the coordinates of L. Now we need to find the direction ratios of P L. So the direction ratios of P L R x two minus x one, y two minus y one, z two minus z one. Three lambda minus three minus of two. Five lambda plus four minus four. Six lambda minus of minus five. so p and l so coordinates of p 3 lambda minus 3 minus 2 5 lambda plus 4 minus 4 6 lambda minus 8 minus of minus 5 simplifying that you will get 
PL is uh, this 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 is the direction ratios of PL. Now you have the direction ratios of PL and you also know that this PL PL is perpendicular to the line. So this line and this line both are perpendicular. So the dot product will be equal to zero. So this particular 3, 5 and 6 is nothing but a vector that is parallel to the line. Everyone knows I guess. So 3i cap, 5j cap plus 6k cap is a vector that is parallel to the line. And we have one more, the, uh, the, these are the direction ratios of PL. PL. And we know that PL is perpendicular to the line. So the, the dot product of these two vectors will be 0. So 3 times of 3 lambda minus 1 plus 5 times of 5 lambda and 6 times of 6 lambda minus 3. That is equal to 0. Simplifying this, we will get the value of lambda. Moving on. So the coming to the second part of the question. So now we know that we have already found the direction ratios of PL. right? So we will substitute the value of lambda here. So we will get PL. Once we know the direction ratios of PL, now D can be found out easily. D is nothing but minus 1 by 10 whole square plus 3 by 2 whole square plus minus 6 by 4 whole square. So we are applying the distance formula here, you know, the, the magnitude formula. When we know the components, the magnitude of that will be the square of the each of the components, square root of square root of the each components. So the answer on simplifying that you get is root of 37 by 10. So the correct answer is option C. I would suggest you to go through the video again and try to understand it. Okay. Moving on, we will see one more question. I think it will be clear after once you see look at this question as well. Okay. So again, this question was asked in 2019. Okay. The distance of the point 1, 2, 1 from the line. Yes. Okay, same. So let us draw the figure. So you have this point P here. This is the coordinates are 1, 2, 1 and the point L. Point L is on your line. So again the same thing. So we will take x minus 1 by 2 equal to y minus 2 by 1 equal to z minus 3 by 2 as lambda. Now when x minus 1 by 2 is equal to lambda, then x is equal to 2 lambda plus 1. So that is what the coordinates of L can be found using this logic 2 lambda plus 1, lambda plus 2 and 2 lambda plus 3. Direction ratios of PL are nothing but x2 minus x1. So this is your x, x2, y2 and z2. This is your x1, y1 and z1, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. Doing that, we will get the direction ratios. These are the direction ratios of PL. Okay. We know that this PL is perpendicular to the line. The coordinates of the vector that are parallel, that is parallel to the line is 2, 1, 1. That is from here, 2, 1 and 2. And that is parallel to our, and that is perpendicular to our PL. And the direction ratios of PL are 2 lambda, lambda and 2 lambda plus 2. And we know that when we have two vectors that are perpendicular, then their dot product will be equal to 0. So that is what we will be applying here. Doing the same thing, we will get the value of lambda that is equal to minus 4 by 9. Next, once we have found, once we have found the value of uh, lambda then we we can find the direction ratios of pl okay direction ratios of pl we have already found now substituting the value we will get the direction ratios of pl which is minus 8 by 9 minus 4 by 9 10 by 9 now when we know the direction ratio the magnitude can be found using square root of the squares of each of the components minus 8 by 9 whole square plus minus 4 by 9 whole square 10 by 9 whole square so square root of that will give us root of 180 by 9 simplifying that we will get 2 root 5 by 3 so correct answer is option c I hope this is clear to you. This is a very important. If you practice it, you will get this. Okay, it is easy. Actually, it is not difficult. It is easy, but you need to practice. You should. You need to get a hang of it. Yeah. Okay. This is again a question which was asked in 2020. So I'll be putting the answers in the comment section so you can solve this on your own and please check it. Okay. Please try this question again. It is the same question. You are given a point and a line, and you are asked to find the distance. Similarly, a similar question was asked in 2023 as well. I want you to solve these questions and tell me the answers. Okay. There is one more type of question that is being asked, so which can be solved using the same method. 
So, here they are asking us the image of the point 1, 6, 3 in the line this thing. So, the method will be almost similar. So, we will first understand the question what it is trying to ask us. So, you have a line let me call this point P let the coordinates of point be 1, 6, 3. So, the reflection will be if this is T at the same distance D you will have the reflection at this point let me call the coordinates as R. The coordinates of R will be the reflection of point P. Okay. So, uh, the procedure is same similar first we need to find the image of this point. Okay. So, the equation of line is given to us okay. x x by 1 equal to y minus 1 by 2 3 minus uh, z minus 2 by 3 is equal to lambda take that as lambda if x is equal to lambda x will be lambda only y minus 2 by 2 is equal to lambda then y will be equal to 2 lambda plus 2 next you have z minus 2 by 3 is equal to lambda which is equal to z is equal to 3 lambda plus 2 so that is what you will get the coordinates of point L once if I get the coordinates of point L here our objective will be to find the coordinates of point L first then applying the midpoint formula we can find the coordinates of point I okay so direction ratios of PL are so if I take the coordinates of L as uh, coordinates of L we have already found out which is lambda my 2 lambda plus 1 and 3 lambda plus 2 so the coordinates will be lambda minus 1 2 lambda plus 1 minus 6 and 3 lambda plus 2 minus 3 okay this is what I have done here and th this is how we get the coordinates of direction ratios of PL next we know that PL is perpendicular to the line PL is perpendicular to the line so the dot product is 0 so we will do the same thing 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 is perpendicular to this so the dot product is 0 from this we can find the value of lambda once we have found the value of lambda we can find the coordinates of point L ok yeah so coordinates of L can be found out right so coordinates of point L are lambda comma 2 lambda plus 1 comma 3 lambda plus 2 substituting the value of lambda as 1 we will get the coordinates of point L so as you can see this point L L is L is the let I I be the reflection point ok I be the reflection of the point ok then then we will apply the midpoint formula you can see here right L is L is midpoint midpoint of pi ok this is what we will be applying and we all know the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 and z1 plus z2 by 2 so here 1 plus x2 1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to coordinates of l 6 plus y2 by 2 is equal to coordinates of l again 3 plus z2 divided by 2 is equal to f because that is the coordinate of l that is how we can find the coordinates x2 y2 and z2 so the correct answer is option a i guess yes option a 107 i hope the uh, the explanation part was clear to you i have tried my best to uh, explain this thing but this is a very important question maybe this question cannot be solved in a minute uh, with practice you can solve this question maybe in 1 minute 15 seconds but don't miss this question there is a very high chance that this question can appear in your exam okay yes uh, so if this video was helpful to you please press the like button so that it reaches more people and uh, more students get benefited from this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos i'll be come up i'll be coming up with more these kind of videos most repeated pyqs videos so uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel yes thank you